What is happening, people? Sorry we were a little bit late. We had, uh, we had some traffic on the way, but thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Joe, for having us out here at Gearhounds. Everybody support your independent store. And uh, Joe certainly got one of the best ones here in Southern California. Yeah! Okay, my name's Chris. I work for Buddha, and uh, we just launched uh, the new Alex Skolnick amplifier, which Alex is going to show off for you tonight and play off and play a bunch of stuff. That, uh, show you the channels on there, show you all the features of the amp, and then, of course, rip and just amaze you. And then uh, after he's done, we can have a little Q&A session, um, and then we'll form a line somewhere. Uh, I think Joe's got a table set up out, out here, and uh, we'll do some signatures and stuff like that. And if you guys have any questions about any of the equipment, feel free to ask me or Brandon. Uh, Brandon will be out here in just a second, too. Uh, but let's not waste more time here. Let's bring up the man of the hour, Alex Skolnick. Yeah. Thank you. 
guys so much. All right, what a, what a cool crowd. Um, sorry about that traffic. I, I don't know how people live in LA and <laughs> commute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great to see everybody. Uh, this is my new Buddha amp, uh, the AS Preceptor. Uh, I'm very excited about it. And um, <clears throat> what you just heard was a little bit of a tune called Bollywood Jam from my album Grand Veritas. And that was all done on the clean channel of this amp. So um, I want to demonstrate the amp. Um, Brandon and Chris are, are going to talk a little bit as well, and uh, we're going to talk about this, this product that I'm very excited about. So as you can hear, the, um, you know, the clean tone is very clean. Right? That's one of three channels. It's a three-channel amp. metal ballad rhythms with and that and stayed very clean, you know, stuff like that. Some of you recognize that. Yeah. Um, you know, and I can play other things like it. Alright, so the problem with a lot of um, amps I found is that you know, the clean tone doesn't stay clean and um, with this amp you have the option of um, there's, a, there's a gain button so if, if you want it to break up a little bit it can or you can um, keep it you know, as clean as possible and I wanted something that worked for uh, the, the jazz stuff I do as well so if I, if I go for a jazz tone I might pick the, um, the neck pickup on the guitar and roll off the tone knob a bit. And I get a tone more like.
that's that's a little bit of the jazz tone, right? You know, those, those are all um, tones generated from channel one. And um, I should point out there is an effects loop on the amp. And there's actually three effects loops. So if I wanted um, three different delay pedals through each channel, I could do that. So I'm going to switch to channel two. All right, so this is a little more of a um, of an overdriven channel. All right, so this one I think you can compare it more to, you know, like uh, '70s rock. All right, see how it's got the delay. And right now, right, it's got the same delay as the clean channel. But I have the option to have completely different delays. This is a, a simple setup. But um, yeah, it's great to have that option. And uh, for this, for uh, the channel two, anything that um, yeah, brings to mind like 70s rock, you know, you can try that and I, I, think, I think you can make that work. This amp has tube and solid state technology. There's a knob in the back called the power pan, so you can you can do either one. So you can get um, you know, these combinations of tones. Um, let's go to channel three now. Channel three is the um, you know, more overdriven channel. 
chords, you're able to do harmonics, able to get uh, feedback. Uh, I'll be demonstrating some more of that in a little bit, but um, in the meantime, I'll, I want to answer any questions, and then um, Chris and Brandon, if you guys want to jump in here and say anything, be my guest. So let's do a couple questions first, and then we'll run through a few of the other amps also. Anybody have a question for Alex? Anything Speak you up. want, any, ask any question. Almost there. Yes. Water's on your hand. Uh, 120. 120. 120. Watts. El 34s. Yeah. Uh, you said that the uh, it switches between solid state and yeah. Does it also do that for the preamp? Um, um, that's a good question. It doesn't. It doesn't do it for the preamp. Right. It's just for the yeah. Just for the sorry. Just for the power. Sorry. Yeah, some some people ask for songs that we yeah, we haven't played in a million years. Yeah. But that that one we do play every once in a while. So, oh, yeah. so you're lucky. Thank you. 
that was uh, you know another actually that song in particular was a, another test that yeah I because I, I put the M for a lot of tests I play different riffs see how they sound you know like how how does this riff sound? and how does certain licks sound uh, but that one has that long feedback. So you have to be able to, to get that uh, that sustain. So, uh, so this amp has it, and also in combination with the guitar, it's a new signature ESP guitar. But I need to be able to get you know the 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 tone to last as long as I want. That's the, like a very important thing. Yeah. What's the map on the app? I'm sorry. The map. Twenty nine forty nine. Smaller version or kind of um, that's going to be, you know, up to Alex in the future, I think. Yeah, I, th I think um, th this amp, this model right here, this is a, a tank. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is something, um, it's got every feature, uh, you know, it's going to go on the road, it's going to do, you know, it's perfect for, for touring. I, I could see us eventually doing a scaled down version that maybe doesn't have all Every every feature, um, and you know this might be the more the deluxe version. But right, this is just coming out, so I don't think we're yeah, yeah. yeah be a while. The amp also has a uh, has a power pan on it, so you can cut the wattage actually down on the amp if you want to run it at a lower wattage. So that's a cool thing for guys who want to not run it at 120 watts, obviously. So that's another feature on the back. Yeah, you could play this in your house and not get in trouble. <laughs> Um, any other questions? Yeah. Got a kind of an old man nerd question. Okay. Um, back when uh, Jake Lee was playing them, I remember you guys were known for your like Type A B uh, layout for those amps. Uh, do you guys still kind of stick with that, or like the like does the amp have the old Buddha? Yeah, the amps. The amps. Um, uh, most of the amps. A few of the ones that we have over here actually are all hand wired, point to point, Class A amps. Um, the, traditionally with Buddha, with a few of the series, the Super Drive series and a B series, which is the newer series, um, based on 6v6 tube. So it's kind of old long lines with an old deluxe, if you know, anyone's ever played an old you know, Fender deluxe. Um, but uh, all of those amps are uh, Class AB in that, you know, there is circuit board, you know, technology in there. Uh, some of the amps that we're going to talk about here, though, are hand wire point-to-point Class A amps as well. So we do make both. Should we uh, talk about some of the Sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> we got Super Drive, okay, we got 30 and an 80 Buddha and a Master. So, um, thanks. So, uh, hi everybody, I'm Brandon, and uh, I've, I've worked with Alex now for quite a while. We've been, we've been working together. Um, I'm, I'm in charge of artist relations here on the West Coast for uh, for PD and Buda, uh, Chris Elliott, Positive Acoustics, and a few other lines that we carry. Um, Got a few different amps here. Uh, some some really cool things uh, as far as you know lower wattage amplifiers. Um, the amp here that is on my uh, on my right here. Uh, that's a Super Drive. Uh, that's a Super Drive 30. So that is um, one of the staples of Buddha, the Super Drive series. Been around a long time. This is actually Series Two of the Super Drive. The original ones were all hand wired, point to point, Class A amps. And what we found is that we could we could actually have a better consistency through the amps of working with a circuit board. Um, just from you know amp to amp, we would find that there'd be little differences in the wiring and things like that. So with the Super Drive series, uh, we went with the Class A B option, and uh, it's 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 been a good option as far as holding up on the road with a lot of players, um, and as far as teching the amps and all these different things, it's 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 uh, you know makes it makes it a lot easier. But uh, Super Drive series are, are two channel amps. This one's an EL84 amp, so there's anything in there from you know your classic uh, you know AC30 type tones to plexi stuff um, and everything in between. You know, great great classic rock amp, a lot of headroom on that particular one. Uh, the amp uh, next to it is a, is a brand new amp that we came out with, and and actually it's it, it relates to the amp here on the uh, far left as well. Um, which is called a Twin Master. The Baby Buddha is just basically a version of the Twin Master in a lunchbox format. So uh, you're looking at 18 watts with that amp. Um, it's an EL84 base amp, 
And uh, it's pretty cool in that it, 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 it differs from Alex's amp, which has just about everything that you can think of in an amplifier, to being something that's a little bit more stripped down and simplistic. It's got three, uh, three knobs, basically, as far as EQ settings. And um, it's just a workhorse. You have two, uh, uh, two inputs, a normal and a high gain input. So, um, you know, it can go from anywhere from, you know, very clean to a nice broken up sound. And, um, and we just offered that, like I said, in, in the launch box, you know, kind of format there. Uh, the Twin Master, which is the amp on the far left, uh, that has the Tweed Mount uh, style chassis in it. That's the amp that Buddha was founded on back in 95. It was one of the original designs the guys came up with uh, who started the company. And, um, and uh, again, same EQ settings. It's just a three knob plug in and play. Turn up the volume really loud to get, you know, to get your gain out of the amp. And, um, and it's just a great option you know, for guys who are playing you know, smaller club gigs. They want you know, a nice clean amp, um, uh, run pedals through, different things like that. So, um, it's a loud 18 watts. Certainly recommend all you guys to try that amp out. It's 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 closer, I'd say, to most other companies' 30 or 40 watt amps and the actual, I guess, decibel level of the amps putting out. But um, but uh, but all of the all of the Buddha series um, are you you know all the different amps are unique in their own way. Um, we got a lot of you know new options as far as as far as Buddha stuff that's going to be coming out. But these are a couple of the new ones. Um, and in addition to that, we also have an amp that I mentioned earlier called a V series, which is based off of 6V6 tubes. There is a 20 watt and a 40 watt version of that amplifier available. Again, two channel. So um, a lot of different options with Buddha. New Buddha uh, pedal effects line, which you guys can come take a look here on uh, the pedal board here as well that, that we just came out with. Some cool options there. So um, Anybody like to hear one of these amps? Uh, yeah, would you like to yeah. play through one of the little guys? Mm -hmm. Which one do you want to play through? Yeah. 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 Why don't we do? Um, maybe the little. They have power. They powered up. Yeah. Which yeah. yeah. one? Yeah. Um, you want to do the baby Buddha? Because you're familiar with that. Okay. The baby Buddha is very simple, right? It's just. Uh, 